Hey guys, Doe here again, um, bringing you another tutorial on um, warps. And if you don't know what the warps are, is in my OCE. Hold on. Can't really tell, but because it's over it. This this is what this is. This is wave warp. And also, there are different types. Right there, in the blocks that looks like digi effects. That is a wave warp with like squares. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And um, thanks for 122 subscribers. I appreciate it. And I'm gonna try to do another tutorial tonight. But um, don't kill me if I can't because I have to go to bed at like 10-ish, it's 9.15, um, I'm gonna go study for a little bit, so I don't know how much time I'll have. So, let's get right into it. Where's my finder? Drag this clip on. And it is 59.94, I got it from Weekly Edits, I believe. So make a new composition. I hate having white not racist. Um, anyways, <clears throat> uh, oh, creative M forty eight three. Um, I'll try. I'll try to get some twig string in real quick. I should have done this before, but hold on. Let me let me scale this up. Scale one hundred five. Um, and I also want to add some uh, wiggle, a little bit of wiggle. So one comma three. So, it's not that noticeable. I'll add some wiggle on the rotation too. And wiggle one comma five. Oh, that's way too much. Wiggle one, ah, one comma three. And then I'll just scale it up a little more. So I'll twixter this part right here. Fifty nine point nine four. Plug in my twixter settings real quick. Speed. I'm gonna go forward like ten frames, and then I'm gonna go to five. Um, at frame blending, um, pixel motion, time, time remapping, so I can stretch out the clip a little. Um, add a new adjustment layer, I believe, I think it works with adjustment layer. Look up wave warp, it's on your distort, and that's what it does, and there it is. So, um, take the weight, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, bring this to zero, so nothing, didn't show anything, and then keyframe it, and then we're going to go four, three or four, and then you're going to bring it up to like ten, and we're going to bring the width in to as much as you feel the need to, I know some people do it at like five, I'm going to do it at like eight though, or ten. If it'll let me come on 10 there we go um i'm gonna bring the direction i'm gonna bring it to zero this rotates it so i'm gonna bring that to zero um you can also have squares and it's not visible now but you can change the width you can change the height stuff like that so i'm going to sign so hold on I got to see what I'm doing right now. Wave height. I'm gonna go another five frames. I'm gonna change this to like 20. Then I'm gonna go forward like 20 frames. Uh, the keyboard shortcuts on my um, keyboard are messed up because my keyboard is partially broken. So 
like only on like the right part of my keyboard, so like the brackets and the slashes, those are broken. So I'm gonna bring this back down to zero. So what we have is that effect. And that's what people use, um I believe this was used on um bolt action episode twenty-eight at the very beginning. Um if it makes me watch an ad, I'm gonna okay good. Um, seizure. Yeah, right there. Right here. Except he has the width on like he has the width like on like four or something a little shorter. So yeah, that's how you do wave warp. It looks pretty sick. You can change the direction. Um, you can change the quality. Keep it at low though. It doesn't really do much except for increase your render time if you go to high. Um, you can change the phase. Um, if you keyframe phase, uh, add a keyframe for like seven seconds, and then just bring that to one. And then I'm gonna ram preview and see how that looks like. I don't know what phase does. That's why I'm doing this. Um, Standing by. Yeah, I have no idea what that did. So, uh, if you know what it did, feel free to tell me, please. Um, you can also do noise. It does. It does everything, guys. This is in. It does everything. So yeah, I like to have it at sine or square. But I mean, maybe you're not. Maybe you're a different type of person. You can have it whatever you want. Um, I don't know how to get rid of the black lines. Someone asked me already, and I didn't know how to do that. Um, so yeah, that's been my tutorial on wave warping. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, real quick, I'm gonna bring up Google Chrome again. I'm gonna bring, give you the my goals talk. Um, here are my goals again. We have hit 100 already, but I'm already at 122. So I am slowly getting to my next goal. Oh, also, I think my next goal is total upload views. I'm a third of the way there. So I want to hit 10,000 upload views, and you can choose a reward. And if I hit 1K subscribers, I'm going to give you guys an editing pack, which I haven't even started on, by the way. So take your time. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah. So thanks for 122 subs. Um, I hope I can give you guys the second tutorial tonight, and I hope to see this, this effect more often from you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.